So the Higgs boson, people at first might think that this is very esoteric and may not have much to do with their daily lives, but actually it, it's slightly subtle. Uh, this really is an important thing for everyone. One of the people who's in the audience today, Peter Higgs, together with several others, uh, came up with a theory to describe why there should be an interaction based upon the mass of a particle. And that interaction relies on a, on a symmetry of nature being broken. And part of that symmetry being broken manifests itself in the existence of a new particle, the Higgs boson. The Higgs boson is named after Peter Higgs, obviously. And so what we find here is that in the same way that at first people think, well, relativity doesn't affect my everyday life. When Einstein came up with relativity in 1905, people thought, this was crazy, you can't go fast and speed light, what does that mean? But then we find out that actually my cell phone uses uh, special and general relativity both in order to tell me where I am. When I pull up Google Maps and I ask where I'm located, I'm using a relativistic correction due to the Earth's mass which bends time and space. In the same way, we're going to be finding new technologies which depend upon our understanding of gravity and mass. So unlike other particles that we have discovered over the years, the Higgs particle is fundamental in the sense that it gives everything a mass without destroying the ability of the theories that we've come up with that have been very precise in predicting many, many attributes of nature. It, it provides a mechanism for that theory to provide us with answers in a consistent way. So we have been searching for this particle for quite a long time in particle physics, and the results that will be announced um, will essentially show that we have discovered a particle at a particular mass that's consistent with this Higgs particle, and it has certain properties that are consistent with the Higgs particle. There's still a lot of work to be done to sort of nail down the idea that this is definitively the Higgs particle. But my suspicion is, and I think my colleague will agree, that this will uh, be within maybe not a year, maybe less than that, when we'll be able to nail this down. So in, in a sense, discovery of the Higgs particle is the last remaining piece of this overall theory that describes all of the known interactions, all the known in particles, associated with everything that we see around us. It comes in a really good time for me because I, I definitely want to be involved in projects like this uh, that uh, are very uh, influenced by this result. My fellow customers are, are very excited for this. Uh, that's all we've been speaking about today. It's, it's been maybe 60% uh, of the Facebook statuses that have been uh, posted uh, within, within the physics group. So, I mean, finding the Higgs um, is really a big momentous occasion because this is something that we have been working for in physics for a number of years. We've put a tremendous amount of research and resources into it for years and years. And so one, buddy might, one person may think, well, this is kind of closing the door. Now we're done with physics, let's move on to some other field. But actually it is really an exciting time in physics because now we have one piece of the mystery solved, but that piece is going to actually drive more questions than it actually answers often. So we want to understand what that means, why does it have the mass that it has, how does it behave now that we have discovered it. So I mean I think that, that is a big opportunity for students to get more excited about their future and their ability to become scientists. I mean you know many years ago there was this thing called a moonshot that people landed on the moon and that got me into science. Um, maybe this is going to spark a lot of other students thinking about becoming scientists, physicists and the like, engineers, mathematicians because there's a lot of opportunities out there. And you know, this might be the thing that kind of pushes them over the edges, encourages them to become scientists.